Hello everybody. I got a mail recently with a link to a 3ds Max uh, tutorial and was asked if I could make a tutorial about this type of geometry. I didn't try to copy really the 3ds Max model because first I wouldn't really know how to do this in Modo and secondly I didn't like the model especially. But I thought I could do some upholstered chair or at least the footrest of it. So let me start with the square. I make it 150 by 100 millimeters and put it in the middle. A key, edge mode, Alt C with the count of 2 and symmetry and I want to have it at 1%. Then do the same here, Alt C, but this time 1.5% so we have the same proportions. Now I can select these outer edges. W key, bring it down a bit, maybe minus 10 millimeters. Top view again. Now I can go to duplicate clone. I want to have three clones and bring it out by 150 millimeters. Drop the tool, then clone again. Three clones and this time in the set and 100 millimeters. <coughs> Pardon me. Now we can go to Vertex, Merge, Automatic, 87 have merged. Yeah, why not? We will see if something has not merged. Then I select all these outer edges. Go to Vertex, Set Position, 0 on the Y. Now I can delete this one, these ones, and these ones. And we have already a slight structure in here. Now let's make this a bit more explicit. Alt-C, but uniform and a count of 4. The same here. <coughs> Alt-C count of 4. Now I select all the middle polygons. Then shift up arrow, go to perspective, W key and bring this up 10 millimeters. Yes, OK. Shift down arrow and bring it up another 5 millimeters. Like so. Top view again. We have now a structure, but it is absolutely identical and would look very strange for organic material like, for example, leather. So let's do something about this. I select this one, second here, third here, fourth here, and do the same here. Second, third, and the fourth and delete them. Now we have already a little bit of variation and I think uh, let me copy this control copy control V W and bring it down minus minus 60 Then go to Vertex, Set Position, uh, 
minus 60 on the y and flip this polygon polygons now we have <coughs> we can uh, bridge this and yes next I put an edge in here now I think I shift C slice it through here make sure we have angle snap and snapping so it gives a straight cut drop the tool select this one B for bevel with a round level of 2 click in the viewport uh, maybe one millimeter. Now I select this middle one, R key, and make it all say 95%. <coughs> Good. Now I select this one, L key, shift up arrow. Once more, let me see. No, it was like so. Give it the material, uh, wood, and hide it. And now I can select these here, shift up arrow, and also the wood material and height. Now M key again. This is the leather material. OK. And unhide everything. Next uh, I put on symmetry on the X and then I select uh, doesn't work. Reason is we are not centered. Now it should work. Yes. <clears throat> oh, I select some random uh, polygons here. W key and bring it down a bit just to give some more variation. Now also these edges here they are way too straight so I do the same in edge mode select some edges here uh, some here no just these and maybe these ones W key bring them down a bit then I select these corners and these ones W key bring it down again a bit like so then we can maybe push these edges a bit, W to the inside, this one. You can do as much as you like. I think I leave it for the time being and put one more edge in here and select this one and R key make it maybe a hundred and two percent so it bulges out a bit like so good next I put two edges in here to make this a bit sharper and another one in here like so yes good um, top view 
and then I select these center polygons here, shift up arrow till I have selected the whole top, then control X, control V, this one. With this I make sure that even in sub D mode we have a very sharp edge up here and you will see why I want to have this in a moment. So I select this one and then go to Shift F5 and run the quick pipe uh, script from Seneca Menar. The link to his website is in the description. And I open it. Let's subdivide it. Oops, I probably made an error because symmetry is still on. I probably have two in here. Let's delete one. Yes. Okay, that's better. So, you see that starts to look some like uh, a, a seat of a chair. Or, in our case, the footrest of a chair. So next I go to the front view, then select a radial fall off, like so. Put it in the middle. And W key, bring this down to about here, like so. Drop the tool. Now I make a simple uh, stand with a circle. Something like this. And then bevel this and delete and delete the bottom. Mm, bring it a bit further down. Then I can select, take these two edges here, set key and R key to flatten them out and that's too that's too massive. Alt C count of four uniform and then I can select all these edges R key and make this a bit more elegant, something like this. Let's see. Yeah, I think I put two edges in here. Perspective. Now I can. Mm, Shift X Yes, good Put two edges in here And we don't need the top polygons So delete them <coughs> Let's see what we have. W key, I bring this to about here. Then I need to extend these edges. W, like so. Now we can control copy, control V, W, this over here and then select these two and center select it on the X. Good. 
Now we're almost done. What we need is a floor. So put in the plane by shift clicking this symbol here, W key, bring it down to here, M key for material, call it floor, then R key to resize it. I, I resize it a lot by a factor of 100. Now we can look through the render camera. That's sometimes easier to do when a plane is around than on the render tab, like something like this. Yes. <clears throat> and if we're here, we can also look through the directional light so we can make sure that we have some nice shadows casting on the floor. Something like this. Good. So render tab. And let's put on some materials. Uh, I take polished silver for the stand. I don't have a stand material. Just a second. So this is the stand. Now should be good. And then I go to the wood and flooring and this will be our floor. And the problem is because I enlarged the floor plane by a factor of 100, I need to change the wrap counts also by a factor of 100. Otherwise the textures look not right. Good. Now the wood, I take this ash and the leather is plastic, uh, satin finished. And here we have another little problem, namely that this seam here does not have a material. So M for leather. Okay. Now Uh, a nice environment, this one. And finally, make the render window a bit bigger. 888 and control enter. And then let's render this. And here it is the footrest of a upholstered leather chair. I hope you liked it. Thanks for watching. Take care and have fun modeling with Modo. See you some other time. Bye bye.